The most watched contest in tomorrow's council election will be the bitter battle for Lord Mayor of Brisbane. The gloves came off in the final face-off between Graham Quirk and Rod Harding. Lauren Day has the details. Graham Quirk cruised into the final day of campaigning. It's a great privilege to be Lord Mayor of this city and we're out there continuing to create that lifestyle and leisure environment. As an army of Labor supporters cheered on Rod Harding. The other five Lord Merrill candidates virtually sidelined at the City Hall debate. He's had his chance, he's achieved very little and it's time for some new plans. There has been a fair bit of mudslinging in terms of this election campaign. Do you think there's been some mudslinging? Well, not by me. Graham Quirk still stung by Labor barbs over a proposed land sale to an LNP donor, which the Triple C won't pursue. I've sought an apology in relation to certain comments that have been made about my character which have not been forthcoming from Rod Harding. Well, absolutely not. I mean, the Triple C gave him a warning. On preserving the city's history... Graham Quirk has no regard for the town plan or our heritage buildings. So I reject the notion that tin and timber is on the way out. It is not. While Graham Quirk today delivered a message about trusting him on past experience, Rod Harding asked the audience to consider a change to prepare for an extra one million people in Brisbane within 15 years. An expert versus a newcomer who says his biggest lesson was learning to handle the media. Well, I've got to get better at uh, facing a camera and talking uh, intelligently. <laughs> but not always. I've got a little knob that all my mates absolutely love. Sorry, sorry. Lauren Day, 10 Eyewitness News. Some inner city residents have vowed to make their feelings known at tomorrow's election. They're angry over the first stage of the West Village development getting the green light. The West End residential and retail project includes two 15-storey towers, which protesters say are well above the current height limit for the site. It is two and a half times the density of, of residents that should be there. It is 95% site coverage. Meanwhile, parents and students at Buranda State School are protesting plans to build a high-rise right next to the school. They're concerned about safety and privacy.